you don't just get any foundation and you feel like hey, foundation is foundation and it's my color that means it's mine that means it's my perfect shade that means it will be good on my skin no sis don't even know if the foundation uh is just for people that have oily skin i don't know if it's just for people that have dry skin i don't know if it's for people that have a um, combination skin i don't know any of this so this is why i say do your assignments <laughs> My beautiful almost glam family and welcome back again to my channel my name is oma and if this is your first time stopping by you are definitely welcome you are in the right place if you're an old subscriber thank you so much for coming back to see another video so as you can already tell by the title i am going to be doing like a mini lecture concerning um all things foundation but basically how to know your foundation shade how to um find the right foundation that suits your skin i asked uh, this question on my facebook page i think two days ago what are your makeup struggles and um man did i get a lot of uh stuff concerning foundation so that was what prompted me to um make this video okay so if you really want to know how to find your foundation shade how to know the foundation that suits your uh skin tone and your skin type please keep on watching so before i go into details i have um my little paper here where i just jotted down some points for us to take note of in this video so that we don't end up making the same mistakes again but before i go into these points before i elaborate on on them okay i'd like to give us like a little uh demonstration of like <laughs> the mistakes that we make okay so take for example yeah i walk into a shop i am a novice i don't know anything about makeup i just want to start like i am a beginner and i want to get um foundation but i don't know what to get i don't even know they just told me oh foundation is good foundation is makeup okay so you need to get one for yourself and i'm like oh cool i like it okay i'll definitely do that so i walk into the store yeah and clueless okay and i asked the lady there hi ma'am i'd like to get a foundation that suits my skin but i don't know the brand to get i don't know what to get i don't even know my skin tone i don't know my color i don't know nothing now two things might happen here if the lady is kind enough she would help you like she would take her time to ask you questions like oh do you know your skin type? Do you know your skin tone? Do you know your undertone? What um, makeup um, she might ask? What, what brand I know of or what brand I have in mind? But me, being a beginner and being a novice, will tell her, I don't know anything. That is why I am here for you to help me. Now, if she's kind enough, like I said, like I already said, she's going to ask me those questions and then put me through and possibly end up getting me a very good foundation for my skin tone but another thing that might happen is she might say oh you want to get a foundation yeah okay there's this foundation here uh it's very fine on your skin oh let me put it and then she'll just like rub it on your face and she'll be like ah it's very fine you are looking very pure beautiful pretty everything and then she would just do that because she wants to um, sell off the foundation probably the foundation has been sitting on a counter for huh, god knows how long and then she'll just do that so that she'll sell it and then when you get home you'll be like ah but this foundation that the lady put on my face was looking very okay in the beauty uh, beauty shop but now that i'm at home it looks darker than my skin tone it looks lighter than my skin tone what did i do wrong now what she did wrong was to or what you yourself did wrong was to let her test the foundation on you using artificial lighting that is very wrong okay now you need to use uh the natural lighting if you want to swatch any foundation at all if you want to be sure that it is actually your skin tone like it matches you perfectly you need to use a, a natural light okay so that's point number one don't you use 
um, artificial lighting because sometimes the makeup shop or the beauty uh, shop might be filled with colored lights, uh, fluorescents and all that, even ring lights like the one I'm using right now, okay? And that can be very, very deceptive. So what I would say to do is to go out, use the natural light and swatch the foundation and leave it to settle on your face for about five minutes, okay? Before um, concluding that it is actually your perfect shade. So that's point number one. Use, make use of um, natural light when you want to test out a foundation to know if it's your shade, okay? First things first, you need to know your skin type. Before um, getting a foundation, you don't just go, you don't just get any foundation and you feel like, hey, foundation is foundation and it's my color. That means it's mine. That means it's my perfect shade. That means it will be good on my skin. No, sister, you're doing yourself a very harmful thing. It's not, <laughs> it's not, <laughs> it's not <laughs> oh my goodness. It's, it will not end up well. So don't make that mistake. Don't go down that road, okay? Don't even try it. You need to know your skin type. If it's oily, if um, it's normal, if it's like a combination skin or dry. Like for example, I have oily skin, yeah? And the product, foundation products I use are usually matte, mattifying. That's oil control and long-lasting full coverage for someone that has oily skin like me i cannot i dare not go for foundations that are sheer or light coverage because <laughs> i'm only doing myself harm okay so if you have um oily skin go for mattifying uh, foundations okay just do your homework before going into a stop before picking up a foundation okay if you have dry skin go for foundations that that are um, dewy okay you can't use you can't have dry skin and use a foundation that is uh, as oil control or that is dry do, who do you want to end up looking like it's a no no don't even try it so this is why this is why i say um go through some certain things go through some certain steps before walking into a store to pick up a foundation so that's point number two point number one uh if you if you already know your foundation or if you already know what to do don't just make the mistake of using artificial lighting to test out the foundation use uh natural lighting okay that's point number one point number two know your skin type whether oily whether dry uh whether combination normal skin people don't even have issues now as in <laughs> Okay, okay so, so point number three know your undertone you i don't know you find out that whenever you use some foundations okay maybe if you're the type that keeps having issues with foundation choosing your foundation knowing your foundation shade if you have if you constantly have issues it might be because you don't know your undertone or the foundation you're using is actually your um perfect shade but it's, it's somehow it's only making somehow nanya it's, it's it, it looks somehow like you know that you're fair but whenever you use this foundation that is your perfect shade you end up looking red that's because the undertone is warm okay it's more on the red side so it's not for you you need to go for something that has more like a yellow kind of uh undertone so that it will match your skin perfectly okay another thing before thank god i remember another thing that might hinder your foundation from being um perfect is if you have discoloration some people have discoloration like i do i don't know if you can see but i have um this area is kind of red and i have dark circles just here sometimes it's red sometimes it's dark so these are the discolorations that i um have to deal with so to to make my foundation even more uh perfect on my skin to give me that flawless for it to give me that flawless finish what i do is color correct so you can use um i recommend the la girl pro concealer the um orange corrector okay so use that to um color correct and if you have really stubborn like dark spots that 
seem to peep through even after applying layers upon layers of foundation what you need to do is to use like Oma Bell I watched one of her tutorials and she said um, she uses a dark concealer if you watch her videos you find out that she used to use a orange corrector but she said it's still her dark spots used to um, still peep through so she found out that you a dark tone concealer yeah really um, hides the imperfections and the discolorations and everything so if you feel that yours is really bad you can go for a dark tone concealer and then use your foundation to cover it up okay so we've gotten is it three points the lights okay use a natural light know your skin type know your undertone okay and um the if you have discolorations on your face make sure to go in with um color correctors okay either the orange tone ones or the dark tone concealer okay so finally you need to do your assignments let's take this example okay for instance a new foundation just came out you and i know that there are lots of uh brands these days and for example a new foundation just came out and i'm like oh i love the packaging oh that lady said she has used this and it's nice on her it looks nice on her and i want that so i walk into the store and i say give me foundation xyz i really want that because that's the in thing now and they would just give me any foundation they would just give me the foundation but i'll be clueless why because i don't even know the one that is my shade i don't even know if the foundation uh is just for people that have oily skin i don't know if it's just for people that have dry skin i don't know if it's for people that have a um, combination skin i don't know any of this so this is why i say do your assignments do your homework if a new uh, products not just foundation if a new uh, powder just came out sit down and do your work browse about it oh how many shades does it come with oh um is it for people that have oily skin is it for people that have dry skin these things you need to know them before walking into the store so that when you walk into the store someone will not just come and tell you handsy no, this foundation is very fine on you. You will love it. It's very nice. No, this is your... You know, some people can be like that. They will just stay and be arguing. It is your shade. It is your shade. This is your perfect match. And because you've done your assignment, you tell her, no, I know um, what suits me. I've already even found my shade before coming here. So I just want to come and pick it up and go. Okay? So that's why I say do your assignments. For instance, the foundation I use is blossom baby skin foundation okay and it has nine shades nine shades and how do i know um how do i know that it is for me now when you i don't have it here whoa <laughs> i ought to have brought it out but it's not here okay so let me just say um on the body of the foundation like on the container or whatever yeah it says um, mattifying so that's how I know that yeah it's it was made for people um, like me people that have oily skin so that's a good one I I know that it has nine shades which will be easy for me to know uh, my my shade it will be easier for me to pick my shade so now how do I know my actual how do I know my actual shade in these nine nine uh shades how do i know the one that is for me so we have nine eight seven six five four three two one yeah now starting from nine eight seven six five four hmm, let's let's just get rid of from nine to four okay so now we're left with three two one now if i swatch this three two one definitely i will know that three will be too dark on me so three will have to go now i'm left with just o one and o two right what do i do that's where the natural light ish comes in i will not make that mistake of using um artificial lighting so what i'll do now is to go out okay and swatch it 
from my jawline just around here this excuses breakouts it's almost that time of the month okay so I'll start from here down to my neck because you cannot have your face looking <laughs> like a whole different color and then your neck is on another mission <laughs> it's not possible so you need to swatch from here down to your neck okay to make sure that it actually blends in and matches your skin perfectly it might not be 100 percent perfect because uh most times i feel it's not right to get a foundation that is really bright on you because by the time you finish highlighting contouring putting all those setting powder compact powder you end up looking like the like a shining star that you are eh? so you need to uh, get a foundation that maybe not really exactly your skin tone but maybe a shade or half shade if there's anything like that darker than you okay so that by the time you're done highlighting putting all this powder upon powder on your face everything will now blend in very well okay so now what you do is to start from here down to this face uh, and blend with a brush but don't just conclude that oh it's my skin tone don't jump for joy yet you give it about two three minutes if you have time five minutes for it to oxidize because sometimes it can oxidize and become dark okay sometimes it might oxidize and become dark yeah so you need to give it time to sit on your skin and then afterwards you will now decide if it's actually your skin type if it actually matches your skin okay so let's just go through that again now i said we have nine foundation shades yeah i know that from nine eight seven six five four three it's not it at all and maybe i can use four three to contour because yes you can actually use a dark foundation shade maybe two shades darker than your skin tone uh to contour so maybe three and four would be good for me to use and um, contour but the the thing that we're looking for is the foundation that suits my uh skin right yeah so it's between one and two so i'll take one and um swatch from my jawline down to my neck and i'll take two and do the same thing um at this other side of my face and then after two three five minutes if you have time i will now compare which side uh is better is it side A or is it side B? Okay, that's how you know. Now, for a dark person, for instance, just maybe uh, take for instance, I am dark. I'm not this fair person. Now, I want to get a foundation and I see a foundation that is also, let's take for, uh, let's take for instance, um, five shades. Let's just use five shades now. What I'll do is start from the front, not from the back this time around. I I know that shade one will not be my um shade at all because to be very, very light. Say I'm on that medium, I'm not really dark, dark. I'm on the medium tone, okay? So shade one will just be out of it. Shade five will be out of it because it will be really dark on me. So now we're left with shade two, shade um four, and shade three, okay? So now... What I'll do um, is to check shade 2. Shade 2 will also be light. 1 and 2, they go hand in hand. So I'm left with shade 3 and 4. What I'll do is to uh, test shade 3 here and shade 4 here. And whichever one uh, settles down or, or sits right on my skin, or my like goes well with my shade, then I know that it's my... Um, foundation shade okay let's take that for the third time so let's say i am really deep 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 dark okay and we have 10 shades this time around i'll start from the front okay shade one no no shade two shade three mm -mm. shade one to five no so we are left with shade six to uh ten so we check shade uh shade six out of it shade seven out of it so now we are left with three shades yeah three shades so now I'll use, I'll swipe a shade 8 here, shade 9 here, then shade 10 here. Whichever one settles perfectly on my skin and uh, sits fine with my shade, then I know that this is actually the foundation 
for me. So I hope I was able to really explain to your understanding. I hope that after watching this video, we will no longer make the mistakes that we used to make. Okay, please, if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do so by hitting that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so that uh, you get notified when juicy videos like this drops okay so thank you so much for watching please like share comment all that good stuff and if there's something i forgot to mention in the in this video i'll definitely leave it in the description box okay thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in my next video bye